Hello and welcome to another episode of my Williams Rate to Glory career mode. Here today for part 30 at the British Grand Prix. Here is the grid for the Grand Prix. Young superstar Max Verstappen starts from pole position, edging out Sergio Perez who lines up P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Ricardo, Lando Norris and Sainz, Russell, Latifi, Gasly and Charles Leclerc. Brown, Sonoda, Sebastian Vettel and Stroll, Giovinazzi, Joe, Esteban Ocon and Christian Lungard, Mick Schumacher and Nikita Mazepin. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. So here is the grid then, pretty easy one stop. I sound like I'm in a tunnel. My laptop is about to take off for some reason, but Let's get into the Grand Prix then. So five red lights come on and they go out and it's Red Bull, the Red Bull off the line. We're going to try and go to the inside, very risky. Through Abbey at start, through Farm along the outside. Here we go, sends it down the inside of both. Um, Alpha Tower is now trying to go around the outside through the loop. Oh, Nicholas Latifi is quietly going along about his business as he replaced Lewis Hamilton at the start of the season. Here comes Pierre Gasly though. Pierre Gasly's going back at us, trying to go to the inside. We keep it pinned around the outside of Brooklyn's. Now into the field. He falls him wide. And his teammate is up the inside of him. That was Yuki Sonoda. But Pierre Gasly's got involved and so has. Sebastian Vettel as well as Pierre Gasly tries again to get past us through Brooklyn's and now around Luffield we get the exit but here comes Pierre Gasly again on lap 2 further around the lap you know we've been around on my channel a lot that I struggle so much around Silverstone especially through Maggots and Beckett I won't show you the pain of getting through that but finally Pierre Gasly has nearly overtaken us as we send it back down the inside. We may have thought we've got him then, but if there's a gap, we're going for it, we're staying ahead because this is a very critical P9. We're on a good um, run point streak since our win in Monaco. Here comes Gasly again down the inside into Brooklyn's and this time he's got the job done unless we can get the exit around the outside of Luffield but no and we're more looking like we're going to lose out to Sebastian Vettel here and we may lose out to Sebastian Vettel down the inside goes Vettel of course he's won there a good couple of times in his career with Ferrari and with Red Bull but we send it back down the inside this is for one critical point now as Pete Gazzi is gone off up the road and now three cops and as we head towards Magus and Beckett and Sebastian Vettel is round the outside of us through Magus and Beckett who does he think he is? It, you, you know if you're going to go round if you think you're going to go around the outside and be like that and think you're going to get away with it you've got another thing coming as you can see no doubt tries to overtake us I remember saying let as now we're following him through we've just gone through Vale now round club and we are just following Sebastian Vettel we swap him the dummy you're gonna send it around my outside we send it around yours into Brooklyn's we rarely take Sebastian Vettel I told you you're not going around my outside like that I think you're going to get away with it. There's one lap later, Vettel on the inside. I don't think he's given it as much. The big guns as he did, as we, as he's gone wide, of course, and a little bit wide, and Yuki Sonoda's in. And now, Lance Strong is going to have a go. What oh, must happen now? He's probably got his eyes closed now. Are you around the outside? Sebastian Vettel stays ahead. And then we come off the chapel. Down the hammer straight and Yuki Sonoda has got us 
I'm close enough to send it down the inside, no we're not. So that's two Alpha Tauras I've got us in this Grand Prix. And we've actually looks like we've dropped back a little bit and Vettel had even never go at us, but it's not even enough. We were just about staying in touch with him. We managed to pull away from Vettel a little bit. He did get to come now to make our one and only stop onto the mediums. And let's see what we can do. Yuki Sonoda just up the road. We come out now. Can we possibly catch Yuki Sonoda? As there goes to the Aston Martins. As we skip on a good couple of laps, we were able to stick with Yuki Sonoda. And we pulled massively away from the two Aston Martins. We just had really good pace on these mediums. I think I was just able, without having to defend for once, just able to kind of relax and find my rhythm and that really helped us I just couldn't get close to Yuki Tsunoda we were all over the back of him for laps and laps I just couldn't get close enough that was the closest we had got just then as we tried to go around the outside into Stowe but still too far back but there we go now we're going to send it down the inside into the veil job done we overtake the crowd cheer as we overtake Yuki Tsunoda to put ourselves back into the points. Then we skip on to lap 21. And Yuki's coming back at us down the Wellington straight. He's going to send it down the inside. But he locks up and we tried to do the cutback. But we just got, we just turned it a bit too early. Got on, got a lot more curb than I really wanted. But we stuck with him through Maggots and Beckett's. I don't know what it was with, me, with these medium tyres, but... We had some paces. He gets past us, we send it down the inside. Unveil again. And I don't know why the game gave me the most awful camera angles for that section of the track. But on to lap 25. Yuki tries again. And gets us again into snow. But you know what's happening now. Straight back down the inside into Veil. We get him again, and now on to the final lap. It's going to be a win for Max Verstappen, which would probably be the most unpopular win, and that would probably happen in the real Grand Prix. A one two for Red Bull. Lando Norris gets on the podium, but here we go then. He's going to get the last point. Yuki Tsunoda is overtaking us into Stowe. We're going to have to send him like we've done time and time again on him into Vale. We won this one final point down the inside into the veil chicane. Bounds and through club. We've got to take a loads of curb. We've got loads of curb. We've put it in the wall. Then we've crossed the, the line. We'll see you in Park Fermi. Ball put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sport that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. I do not believe it. We literally beat Yuki Tsunoda on the line. You can see the gap there. Very, very close. When I recorded that, crossed the line. Obviously, I couldn't do anything to cross the line. I was like, have I done it? Have I done it? Have I done it? And we had. And it took me a long while to do this, but this is the gap. This is the gap that defined one single point for us, you can see there. So a point that home crowd brain, a very dramatic ending. A couple more points, we've stayed where we are in the constructors, but if you have enjoyed this decent British Grand Prix, then, then consider subscribe, subscribe and liking for more like this. After this, as the new F1 game is coming out very soon. To get to finish off this season, the remaining races we're gonna the main videos are going to be they're gonna have two races in each. So it's the next episode will be Belgium and Monza for example. But yeah, I enjoyed this video and until the next one, goodbye.